Hey guys and welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of post for Nem. Oh yeah, where well, I am a little bit fed up of walking around like a pauper. You can see I have absolutely no upgraded stuff here, but I made a little thing in the in the alloy furnace here. So we're going to grab that and we're not going to just leave this like this. Oh no, we're going to break it down all the way like that. Now, in here, I have nine emeralds, but I'm actually going to steal three of them because there are only three things. Well... There are three things that I care above all others about getting this up upgraded. So I'm going to throw all these in here. Oh, 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 we will deal with that in a second. What we're going to do now is drop down here. This is one of the reasons why I want to upgrade my boots. So when I drop down here, I don't take that full damage. Uh, we're going to take some of these ender pearls. And, oh, ow, if we can avoid being killed by this. I'm going to take the 10 levels of XP. I probably want a little bit more than that. But we're going we're gonna to do that for starters. And I will go back and forth and do that a lot. Right now, we need to run up the stairs and go and uh, have a look at the anvil. Because the anvil is the one that enables us to do all the upgrades that we want to do. Okay, the one we're going to do first, my dark pickaxe. We're going to call it Twitchy's Pick because, you know, I'm super imaginative. Twitchy's pick. I have no idea. Yes, it did. Cool. Whether the apostrophe went in or not. I've got to look at my keyboard to type for some reason. I've been typing for like 20 years. I still can't really do it without looking. So yeah, I'm going to do that a couple more times and get my sword and my boots upgraded. Uh, all before... Hang on, let's uh, come around here and grab another one of these. All before going and working on the bees. You'll remember we have the industrial apiary out there. It's night time, so I'm not going to go walking over. But it's about time that we got our jungle and our moderate, like these tropical bees. It's about time we dealt with all these we're not in the right biome bits. Alright guys, well this is... Uh post-editing me. Uh, I lost the audio files for this, but right now I am showing you that I have managed to upgrade my sword, my pickaxe, and my boots, because they are the things I want to do, but I really want to put an extra thing onto my sword here. Uh, indeed, if you have a look on the thing I just had up, uh, I want to turn it into the traveling sword. So if we call it the Doombringer, just because style points, right? We got this little travel um, power on the sword. The next thing I wanted to do was, of course, the rebuild challenge. If you have a look in here, we had to do all of this stuff. So I'm going to select it here, and with the power of the cardboard boxes, which I have in my inventory right here, I should be able to move these to on top of the hoppers. So if we just dig away at this, hopefully nothing breaks uh, severely anyway. Um, everything's going to feed in out of these boxes into the hoppers and go towards the, the quest total. Now, if you remember, we had to get like a thousand wood, two thousand wood planks, stuff like that. But right now I am struggling with how to open the boxes. Obviously now I know how to do so, but uh, at the time it was very confusing. And then I did that silly thing. And lost all my stuff. Like, all the stuff. You can see none of it went into the quest. That's uh, 1,000 wood, 2,000 planks, 500 gravel and 500 sand that I'm going to have to make all over again. Ah. Oh, wow. That was a costly mistake. Two hours. Two hours growing trees and chopping wood and making sure everything was all right. Uh, so what I actually wanted to do was crouch and right click. Uh, and now everything should start be going in. Uh, hopefully we can actually watch that in the book. Yes, yes, very much we can. So whilst we're at it, let's pop that off as well. And now that's actually going to take some time because hoppers aren't instantaneous things. So let's go and have a look at what I've been doing elsewise. You will see that I've put the travel on my sword. I may have done that actually on... Um, on video, I can't remember. Um, and underneath here, you can see I've got the power line now runs down into the floor. It's going to come along here and goes underneath my industrial apiary. So if we look in this box, we've got the Tropical Queen. And I want to be able to use this. Now, the problem is the Tropical Queen, she needs a jungle biome. Thankfully, the industrial apiary comes with all these slots here where we can find some upgrades. So let's... Uh, all these ones here can be made. You need to start with this upgrade frame, which, as you can see, is relatively simple. But then somewhere in here, that one, I believe, you can make this jungle emulation. Now, the vines shouldn't be too hard to make. We can do them just in the chemical synthesis machine. And the climate control module, relatively simple to make. And down the 
bottom we have an environmental processor. Now this might be the one that takes the most to make. You can see it's got the raw plastic, which I actually have in quite abundance. This is microchip tier three, which you can actually make with a load of tier ones, which I have down below. All right, jungle emulation card complete. This should mean that we come over here, throw this in here, and it's night time, so of course it's not gonna work. Let's just kind of sleep this away, and I'll explain why I did all that just for you guys that need bringing up to speed if we have a look inside the box oh look we've got so much being done already uh, if we have a look inside the book we have a look at the right life rebooted page what we need over here is the silky wisps and the propolis and i bet you can tell where the silky wisps come from that's right the tropical queen well the the uh comb that the tropical queen drops i believe it's the maybe it's the silky comb of course it is. There it is. So in here is my next issue to sort out. We are, of course, headed for the Majestic uh, Queen. But you can see we've got the Cultivated to be mixed with the uh, with the Noble here. Normally I would try and mix the Majestic in to, uh, to like, increase the amount of Majestic in the Gene Pool. But I'm going to have a look quickly. Cultivated with Noble backing. Is this the other way? Noble, Noble. Mm, I'm wondering whether if I throw it in, we've got a Majestic Noble... I'm wondering whether I'll throw it in and the noble will overpower. Let's let's try it. We're gonna we're gonna go for another crossbreed to hopefully get another majestic drone, so we can then just kind of rewrite its genetic code with the majestic stuff. Oh yeah. It has been the culmination of many many episodes worth of work, but there we go. We have finally done the rebuilding quest. I'm going to claim the Nether Star for reasons that I will go into shortly. But what I'm going to do first is just kind of move all this stuff out of the way. At least that one. Uh, do I not have an axe on me? I do not. Okay, so let's talk about what we're going to do instead. I can't believe I haven't got the Hang on. Like, honestly, who doesn't carry all their tools on them at any one time anyway? But what we're going to do next is, of course, trying to move on with some other stuff. Uh, we're going to have a look at this Wand of Summoning immediately afterwards, as long as I don't get totally wrapped up in what I do as I normally do. I want to do all this stuff here. Now, thankfully, I have brought along a little jar of mutagen to complete this quest. I don't have a hole in there. <laughs> I don't have a block in there to uh, to place against. Let's, let's use that, shall we? Okay, brilliant. Uh, we can set this up to drain if we... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Have we set this to the right task? Select task. Right click. You have bound it to exotic. Let's try again. Yep, okay, wonderful. Uh, so, one of the things I need to do is put the Rocky Princess, the End Stone, and the Nether Star all in this side. Uh, I'm just going to pop them in here. Uh, we need to break a block here because once again I can't quite get to the bit that I need to use and we're going to put an extract without signal. Probably could have done that without getting down there but there we go and now finally I think we're at the point. Yes we are. Why didn't that like that? You guys saw me put that in there. What? Okay, two more buckets of mutagen. Um, maybe we're just throwing it in. Why, why not? What's, what's going wrong here? Uh, I don't think I've got too much more to go in. Active without signal. I mean, is that literally just draining away without taking it? Ah, oh, man, I'm going to have to try and figure this out. <gasps> Damn it, I've lost my book now. So I have tried many, many things to get this to work now. There is one more thing that I can do to do it semi-legit. Um, I'm going to give me fluid.mutagen. Uh, and we can see if this works in here. Uh, did, did that do anything? Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, right. Well, we're going we're to do it like that because, you know... I tried everything else. I did... Oh, it's too big. Okay. Uh, must be at most 64. I'm going to pump these in uh, because I've, I've thrown about 5,000 mutagen in here now. So I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to hax it because, well, I really want to get this quest finished. I have an idea. Whilst we're waiting for my major hacks version of getting this done to uh, trickle on through, should we read this book? Instructions for the Wand of Summoning. 
You will want to find a nice, mostly flat area. It is a good idea to clear off the obsidian, but not entirely necessary. Be prepared to dig yourself out of the event that a building spawns directly on top of you. You may also want to consider having a defense system ready to install in the newly formed village to protect the buildings and, the host and citizens from hostiles. Okay, so this spawns an entire village in. When you're ready, right-click a block of gold with what... Uh, with the want to spawn the village. When you're ready, right-click a block of gold with the with the wand to, to spawn the village. You can also right click the block of obsidian to spawn a random village. So be careful about where you want where you wave that thing. Each wand only has at least one use, only has one use, and you need at least one thriving village of each culture to win this pack. So I need like how many how many um wands will I need? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four. I need four wands at least. That's that's a lot of work. Thankfully, I have a lot of machines to turn stuff over still. And, like, everything is still turning over. But, wow, a lot of work. Okay, let's see how far we are through this next B one. Oh, my... Oh, oh, 25%. Wow. Whilst there's a little bit of a lull in that epic quest completion saga, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about something that's just happened for my channel. An epic milestone, if you will. I have received my very own first bit of uh, fan art here. Boom. As you can see, it is me running away from a ghast. Very, very fitting. I received this from Destiny Dragon. Uh, she got a hold of me a little while ago. I was like, I want to do this for you. I was like, oh, really? That would be great. Um, and I received it. A little while ago, a couple of days ago, something like that. Uh, and I thought, well, next next recording of Post for Them, I have got to talk to everybody about this because I'm super excited for a bit of fan art. Uh, I've got to say, like, it's it's one of the things that I consider a milestone for a YouTube channel. You know, not so much the channel, but the community that is growing around the channel. Uh, and so, yeah, I think this is super good, super awesome. You can tell by the slightly excited tone and not really knowing what I'm saying that this this is just totally overwhelming for me. So, first off, thank you Destiny Dragon. Absolutely amazing. Really captured the idea of what happens in Post for Nem. Uh ghasts running away two and a half hearts. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I really wanted to share that with you guys. I've done that, so I'm going to get back to uh, waiting for the mutagen to go through. And uh, of course, once again, thank you, Destiny's Dragon. Thank you. So, with that finally complete, that means we've got almost everything we need together to get 100% on this quest line here. We're just waiting for the Royal Jelly, which of course we need to get the Imperial Drones for, and the Silky Wisp, which we have done with the Tropical Drone. So just waiting on here, cool. The next thing we need to do is start talking about what we're gonna do with these villages. Obviously I need to get four more ones together. Oh, I need to get two more ones together, which is a lot of work. Now, I've got automatic almost everything on the go here, apart from the dirt for the clay. This is one of the problems that I've got here. Um, now, making the clay nice and easy here, but making the dirt involves a bit of cellulose and a bit of silicon dioxide. Now, this I have set up over here. Now, I was producing iron, of course. I've got some silicon here to show you, though. Uh, and if I do this quickly... Now, that's a fairly intensive process unto itself, but I am running out of cellulose. This is why I have the vines everywhere. If I take a single vine and come over to my chemical decomposer over here, uh, you can see I've been making quite a bit already, uh, you get six bits out of that vine, which is unbelievably good. Uh, I was going to say I might run into a bit of problem with silicon dioxide, but of course it, it's all obsidian, so um, yeah, that's not going to be an issue. But I would like to make a vine farm, and I'm, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that at the moment, but that will be definitely be the next segment we do. But before that, I wish to show you, I've done a few changes out here. You can see I've got a void chest on the go. Uh, this fil filters in uh, just the oxygen at the moment. Oh, and the uh, magnetite because, you know, it gives us iron and oxygen. I could actually... Mm, let me take that out of there. I've got I've got a better, better um, thing to do with it because you can see I've got this line here. Now, this one is extracting out, but it will only extract the pyrites at the moment because if you, if you think we... We only had four things collecting in here. Uh, that was the oxygen, the iron three oxide, the pyrite, and the magnetite. Now, obviously, the oxygen is getting void, uh, and I think we want to feed the pyrite and the magnetite back up into the system so that we can get everything out of those. More iron, basically, is more iron. Uh, also, back here, um, this is now almost completely 
not worthless, but uh, redundant, as I've put a little chest on top of this sterling generator that burns through all my methyl methacrylate. Yes. Uh, which, oh no. <laughs> which, of course, we get from our tree farm. Oh, I can also show you my new favourite trick. Whoop. Love this sword. It turns out it's got like an ender pearl launcher in it. It's uh, it's amazing. Um, and the reason I'm using the methyl myocryolate or whatever it's called is because we get um, rubber from, from this wood farm here. So before we go and actually build the village here or spawn the village in, however you want to word it, I've decided that I'm going to work on a few defenses here. Like night time is pretty nasty in this world and... Fencing's probably going to be a good start, but that's nowhere near going to be good enough. So if we come down into the armory, you can see that I've started setting up a, a production line for the various turrets. Because I feel at the same time as making the defences, maybe we can uh, work through this defence quest line. You can see we're at 71%. All I need to do is do these five little quests here. Four little quests here. I can count, really. Leave me be. Um, before finishing all this. So you can see I've put a list down here of the bits that we need, like for the uh, the disposable item gun or the bullet gun, we need like tier 1 or 2, uh, tier 3 for the grenade, tier 4 or 5 uh, for the rocket, rail and laser. Now, in here, I've already set up a whole load of tier 1 uh, bits because they're, I mean, the cobble and wood. You guys didn't need to see how to do that. Uh, I have been setting up a whole load of stuff here, like so the electrical steel and stuff like that, but I will show you my alloy smelting process in a second uh so it was electrical steel for that first one dark steel for the second or tier three i suppose is what we should call it the second upgrade uh if we go and have a look at my alloy smelter up here it's a long way up uh you can see i put a little trapdoor in i think this is great this enables me to get to my chest underneath here uh there's a hopper above the alloy smelter and a hopper bringing out now i'm sure i could have done some sort of uh automization using the configuration here uh but I had the hoppers going spare from another project. You can also see that I've set up all the alloys in these uh, vertical lines here. So to make dark steel, we need obsidian, pulverized coal, and iron. Electrical steel, uh, you need this pulverized coal, silicon, and iron. Um, yeah, all, all set up nicely there. It's taking a long time to cook. This is mainly due to power. Obviously, I'm still ticking over project rebuild here. So everything is still... Well, it was still taking a little bit of power, but obviously it's finished everything it was doing now. But yes, the, the, even this is taking, what are we taking? 6 RF per, uh, 60, sorry, RF per tick. And this is putting out at 40. Now, I could upgrade this octactic capacitor here to a vibrant alloy, but I'm once again, not uh, vib could do the double layer up to an octactic, sorry. But to do that, I need the vibrant alloy. And unfortunately, just, just waiting for the vibrant alloy to come through. Oh, I've actually got enough to do one now. Should we do it together? I think we should do it together. Do I have the four bits of phosphorus? That That's the next bit that's important. I do. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay, this is of course for glowstone powder, which I believe is quite easily made just like that. Put them together. Ba -ba -bum. Uh, okay, now where did I have my double layers? I wanted to take the one out of this and actually the one out of here because it being more efficient is not helping my power drain issue. Obviously when we get the big reactor on the go, this is not going to be a problem. But right now when I'm just running everything kind of off the single sterling generator... I would like to upgrade it to the maximum. Okay, so I'm going to go through, combine these alloys with these tier, um, like, weapon parts. You can see that I did the barrels here, and I think it's this one I've started setting up for the chambers. And I'll bring you back when I'm ready to actually make the grenade launcher, rocket launcher, railgun, and laser, and finish the quest. Okay, almost straight away we can get straight in with a tier 3 weapon. This is, of course... The grenade launcher, if I grab a tier 3 off of each of those and then look for... Oh, my robot isn't here. Uh, if we put this down here then, uh, you'll see that I'm carrying this IO bus around. I've been carrying it for a little while. Uh, it... Oh, no, that was the recipe. I didn't want to do that. This one... Uh, things are rearranging in my inventory. How dare they? This is quite an easy thing to make. So, uh, to make the grenade launcher is quite a simple um, little recipe here. Boom, boom. That is actually straight away a quest done.
Okay, I think the next one I'm going to do is probably tier 4, the rocket launcher. Now, this involves soul sand. You can see I went insane whilst digging the soul sand. Uh, I had spent a little bit of time running around as a uh, spider and stuff like that. It was good fun. But yes, it co cost diamonds. I have completely emptied out my carbon reserves, turned it all into nano uh, tubes, and then into diamonds. Uh, I, I did like 6,000 carbon and got myself 12 diamonds which you know is not great but let's get the tier 4 barrel uh, also over this way we can get the tier 4 firing piece no we cannot I need to get the tier 3 chamber pop this in here and I also need a double layered capacitor I believe indeed I do which thankfully is nice and easy to make so let's get back down here oh oh man this keeps a uh, so my new favourite trick is to shift and click around the base. Unfortunately, sometimes it leads to me popping through the floor. It's not, not a big problem, but it then makes me cautious and ends up costing me more time than it's saved. Uh, so the double layer pops in here. Quite a hard one to make. Um, doesn't really bode well for this Octactic and the vibrant crystals and everything coming on the next tier. But, you know, that's going to take a while. Okay, so what do we need next? So it turns out I didn't need the chamber for a rocket launcher. A little unfortunate, but not the worst thing I've done. Definitely not. Uh, so we also need some solarium and then a couple of diamonds. Now, I'm not sure where I'm going to take those from. Uh, I didn't need six, but we will carry them around. Uh, as I am... Oh, I've got a thousand carbon. We could... I don't know if that's enough. Oh, hello. There's a spider right there. We're going to ignore him. Make ourselves a quick I.O. bus and then the rocket launcher follows on. All right. And that is yet another quest done in here. We're going to take the uh, turret base just because it's easier than trying to make it. All right. So these next two are going to take a lot of work. And I don't think we're going to do them right now. No, no, no. We're going to make a load of low level turrets and then go out and make this uh, village over there, I think. In fact, let's have a sleep. So another life is lost in the pursuit of progress. When will the torment end? When will we be able to bring peace to this world? <sighs> well, it turns out I didn't have any ammo in my gun and that's why I ended up having to try and fight that thing by hand. And that really didn't turn out very well. Gonna have to do something about that at some point. But let's head over to that death marker there. Uh, oh, in fact, we're kind of cutting short the ceremony a little bit. Let's, um, let's take a moment here. Poor clones. 
They'll, they'll, they'll do all right in the end. They'll do all right in the end. So one of the things that we can do on the walkover is you will note that I have actually managed to do a couple of these extra live quests. Uh, I've killed the zombies, mostly. I'm going to take this one because it's my favourite clip. And uh, lots of creepers. Cannot be arguing about that. I'm going to eat me some hearts. Oh, yeah, seven hearts. That's pretty cool. So over here, I think, is where I'm going to spawn my village. That's why I cleared the area. And I think I'm going to do it. Now, they recommend that I level this off, but, uh, you know, I'm lazy. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Uh, maybe right here. Does this look good to me? It looks good to me. Let's 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 try this, guys. I'm going to click it. Whoa. And we have... Oh, wow. We, we have a thing. It randomly spawned one. Was I not supposed to choose at some point? I'm sure I was supposed to choose at some point. But anyway, we have a civilization here. Now, which one do you think it is? I'm not entirely sure. Let's go and have a chat to this guy here. I, I don't know. Wow. I can't read that. I cannot read that. Ah, I think he would be a hummingbird instead. Wow. Okay. Well, there we go, guys. We've got ourselves a little village. This is going to take a lot more than the little bit of razor wire I've brought with me to secure, isn't it? Thankfully, I brought a bed with me as well. I've also got some turrets and some stuff like that. Wow. Okay, uh, but with that, ladies and gentlemen, I would say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. Sunshine is approaching. Oh, which means next time we're going to be taking care of defences for this place. I'm going to just kind of sleep most of it off at the moment. Try and figure out what civilization we actually have here. And uh, yeah, do lots of other fun and wonderful things. But I will see you then when we're going to do that.